So the theme of last night definitely seemed to be Southpaw. If you're watching the undercards, the five that were on pay-per-view, the yeah. five fights total, we um, had four of them that were Southpaws, you know, that's including mm-hmm. the main event. So I want to know when you are toe to toe as an Orthodox, when you're fighting a Southpaw, how do you, how do you uh, challenge that reach? Because Errol Spence had like three and a half inches reach on Danny, which is why his left kept getting in there. That jab kept getting in between Danny's gloves. Mm -hmm. So So, yeah. How do you toe to toe with, with the Southpaw? So the first thing you got to do is start from the ground up. You don't box with your hands, you box with your feet. So foot positioning is everything. So the first thing Danny Garcia needed to do is get his left foot on the outside of, of, Errol Spence's right foot so he can get at the range. He had three, I think approximately three inches of reach mm-hmm. as Errol Spence had three inches of reach. So you have to create that that motion where you create that closure of distance. And when you start to close the distance, it got to be behind something. So the first thing you want to do is blind the guy so he was does not see your feet moving. So when you throw uh, uh, you got a double and triple the jab, so it's blinding him. In the other hand, up against your face so he doesn't hit you with the straight left. And at the same time you're throwing the shots, you're creating that side step. Very small margins, a little bit, two, three inches at a time. He does not see the range being closed, and you're closing it at an angle. So you can now not only get closer to land your jab, now you can hit him with the right hook to the belly, And the straight right cross up top. And if you're very slick, like Bernard Hopkins was when he fought Ray Allen, who was a southpaw and Bernard Hopkins conventional stance, as we all know, Bernard Hopkins was truly able to take those southpaw advantages totally away from Ray Allen and any other southpaw that he was in the ring with. Because when you start to use the flurry, which is we call it change up speed not hard but just constantly blinding the other fighter so he does not see what's actually going on Shane Mosley did it against uh, Colasso too Uh, Luis Colasso Shane used the flurry motion so he would throw but while he was throwing the punches Colasso could not see so Shane was closing the distance on the outside of his right foot And then when he got to a point where the rounds was getting later, Shane started to impose those hard power shots and he beat Luis Colazzo up. 